a 50 year old man was delivering packages Wednesday night and was involved in an altercation and shot and killed. His body not found until 5 a.m. Thursday morning. M2T, today we're going to be covering a story involving a Amazon independent contractor driver. We're going to be covering this story because this gentleman, this brother was a driver just like us. He was targeted just like we are. So we're going to cover his story to bring awareness to it so that all drivers will know over here at M2T, we will take, we will do our part in making sure that your case is also heard and that you also too get justice just like the rest of our trucker brothers do. <laughs> What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Run on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button whenever you roll up to the channel. And while you at it, hit that post notification button for your boy so whenever I drop, you can hop up in the truck and roll with me. See what's poppin'. Another family is mourning the loss of their father, their husband, their son, their brother, who was found deceased at 5 a.m. on the early morning of January the 25th. Check this out. And the couple used the money from Amazon to take care of their kids, but they're all left wondering who's taking care of flex drivers who often end up making deliveries late into the night. Well, I you we're missing you. It's a smile forever ingrained in Nikolai Kubey's memories here he is with some of his brothers surrounding their younger brother, Sergey, who just turned 50 last August. He, he was alive and he, he loved his kids very much. The father of two worked alongside his wife, switching shifts for Amazon Flex, where drivers earn money delivering packages for Amazon. As a company puts it, you're in the driver's seat. You do it your way. Set your own hours and get paid. Uh, it's a dangerous job. It's, it's definitely not good. Uh, nobody go on a job and uh, prepare to die. No. A harsh statement after Sergey was shot while delivering packages at the Fairwood Pond Apartments in King County. Nikolai says he picked up an evening shift on the 24th. At around 9 o'clock, the residents around in its apartment, a lot of people, they heard the sh uh, shots. They heard it. Nobody came to check it. The father wasn't found until the following morning when deputies were called out around five. He was got twice shot. Initial reports say it appears Sergey was involved in an altercation when he was shot. Deputies say it's likely he was targeted, although it's unclear why. It's, it's very painful. You're never ready. This is a message Nikolai wrote on his refrigerator after losing Sergey. Rest in peace, my dear brother. We will miss you forever. You are not hard. I would like to ask Amazon to step in, not just for the surgery, but step for all drivers. He wants more precautions to be taken to protect all drivers. Fox 13 reached out to Amazon asking about their safety measures to prevent incidents like these. While we didn't get a direct answer, their statement says, we're deeply saddened by this terrible crime and are working to support the King County Sheriff's Office as they investigate. We're also in touch with the driver's family and have offered our support during this difficult time. As for the culprits. Honestly, I'm not, not looking for the justice. I just wanted to be, to, to stay in, in peace. I would not want it to fall apart. We don't want it to stay mad on somebody for years and years. So we have to forgive, we have to forget it. We have to move forward. Sergey's case is still under investigation. If you have any information, you're urged to call the sheriff's office. For now, the family is raising funds to lay the father to rest. If you'd like to help, we have more information on our website. First and foremost, we want to send our condolences to the Kubier family. Our thoughts and prayers are with you guys. Sergio Kubier, a 50 year old native of Kent, Washington. He was out doing exactly what it is that we do, truckers out delivering his packages, trying to make a means to take care of his family and put a roof over his head and food on the table. When little did he know he was being targeted. Sergey and his wife, they both worked together 
basically he had the night shift she had the day shift they was working a split 12 hour shift for amazon now i can see why sir j had it set up like that you know because if me and my wife was working a split shift i'm definitely going to be taking the night shift why am i going to be doing that m2t because i know the dangers that comes with the night shift i know that's when all the criminals is coming out and if they're going to do anything they're going to do it at night so my wife is definitely going to be home with the kids like his wife was waiting for me to get home unfortunately that just didn't happen in this case on the evening of the 24th sergey was out delivering his packages when he got to those apartments I can only imagine, you know, Sergio just felt like it was a normal night. You know, just like we do when we pull up to shippers and receive. It's a normal day. You know, but here it is. He got scumbags sitting back and looking at him. They approach him. And as you guys see on the news, it, it, it was an altercation. Meaning he was trying to fight them off of him. But unfortunately, they got the best of him. Because they pulled out guns. And they gunned him down. So that's a robbery and a murder. Where I'm from, that's a capital punishment. Now, neighbors say that they heard the gunshots at around 9 p.m. M2T. If y'all heard the gunshots, why y'all didn't go out there and see what was going on? Because according to the news report, they didn't even find Sergei. Sergei until 5 a.m. the next morning. Y'all know how long that was? That was eight hours that he lay beside his car. And nobody didn't see, I, I, I didn't even come out to check on it. So I'm wondering, like, what type of neighborhood was he in? You know, was it the hood? Was it the ghetto? You know, the video? You know, if you know, then you know what I'm talking about. You know, because in these areas, in these environments, you know, it's 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 normal to hear gunshots. You know, where where I'm from, you know, it was normal to hear gunshots where I'm from. Bow bow bow. Oh, okay, turn the TV up. You know, am I finna run out there and see what now? I ain't finna run out there and see what's going on because it's normal when you from the type of area where I'm where I was from. You know, so was it that type of environment? You know, people just used to hearing gunshots and not going out to see what was going on? Or was it like a, a suburb area? You know, where the neighbors are, you know, they're they're pretty nosy. You know, they hear a gunshot, they're not used to hearing no gunshots in their neighborhood. You know, they hear a gunshot, they're gonna they're gonna peek, you know, what's going on out there, Billy? You know, they're gonna come out there and see what's going on. So it just kind of make me wonder, like, what type of neighborhood was this for him to have to lay out there eight hours? Don't nobody deserve to have to lay out there in no eight hours, man, that can just been done like this. Amazon. Amazon. They're acting like, you know, from the news report. I, I don't know. You know, I'm just going by what it is I seen from the news report. They acting like, you know... Well, you know, we're sorry for your loss, you know, you know, when you're your own driver, you're your own driver, you set it up how you want to set it up, you do it how you want to do it. Now, in a sense, M2T, I kind of get where they coming from because as an independent contractor, you're your own boss. You're not an employee, you're a contractor. So it's different policies that go along with those two entities. And Sergey was an independent contractor. I mean, he was his own boss, so that means he had to have his own insurance. You know, he had to be worried about his own protection. You know, but I still feel like Amazon should do something to accommodate the Kube family. You know, because he was delivering y'all packages, man. You know, you have a lot of us truck drivers, you know, we're 1099s. You know, and, and we're our own, we're independent contractors, we're our own boss, but a lot of the companies, they still have something set up as far as insurance for us as an independent contractor. And I would think that Amazon would have had the same thing set up for their independent contractors. Obviously, they don't.
it just bothers me, M2T, that this brother had to be found like that and done like that because of some bums that can't get up and go to work just like we do. It don't even really seem like there's no witnesses in Sergey's case, like some of the cases that we've covered. This one is going to be a little complicated. You know, as far as cameras, we don't know how the investigation is going to go because King County is not going to, you know, they're not going to put that out. You know, it's an investigation. When you're being targeted as a driver, as a trucker, of course you don't know. But with the field that we in, you have to have some kind of sense of, you know, I know I'm delivering all this, this very expensive product. You know, I'm going into these different areas, you know, and Sergio ain't the only one that, you know, that this didn't happen to. It was two more people this year alone doing a job. I mean, you have to be aware of the field that you're getting involved in. You know, truckers make a lot of money, man. You know, yeah, I, I'm going to be a truck driver. You know, I'm going to make me some good money, man. You know, I'm going to take me some good trips. You know, I'm going to do my thing. That's cool. You know, ride shares. You know, I heard that they make good money. I don't know. You know, uh, you know, delivery drivers, I heard they make good money. But the main thing that these three truckers, ride shares, delivery drivers, all that have in common is that we're delivering product and material. And criminals, they target that kind of stuff. Which means safety has to be one of the main things that you take into consideration. Some of the drivers have did news reports about Sergey's um, situation and saying that, you know, news reporter asked, well, you know, it's safe to one of your main concerns? And they said, yeah. You know, well, what are you doing to stay safe? Well, you know, I carry me a flashlight. Carry a flashlight? If I endanger, I just shoot him in the eye and I can run away for sure, because it's pretty bright. You know, they try to run up on me, I just shine it in their face and drive off. It's a means of protection. I mean, but how far how far is a, a light in somebody's face go get you? It might pause them for about a second or two. And in that quick second, if you can get away, then, hey, you know, thank the Lord. You know, some, you know, carry you some mace. Carry you a bat. Carry something. That's why... Tr or a trucker's being allowed to carry is a very in-depth situation for me because it's only so much that's going to keep a criminal off of you. Criminals are determined. You know, when they come, they already come to bring you home by taking what's, what it is that's in your possession. So I cannot expect for no criminal to sympathize with me or empathize with me when they, they already have on their mind to come and rob me or do me harm. So my re my reaction to them coming to me is going to be, if not on the same level, a hundred times worse. The, the government, the state, we have to figure out something. They have to figure out something to give to us drivers, us truckers, you know, us carriers high shot drivers something has to be implemented for us to be able to protect ourselves because the moment we protect ourselves guess what y'all they gonna hold us accountable so it's a catch-22 you know the amazon dude did say in the interview you know at amazon you know we leave everything in your hands you are responsible and I kind of get where the guy was coming with that. You know, as a man, my safety is in my hands. I am responsible for making sure I get back home to my family. Damn the job, damn the state and the government. I ain't talking about none of that, man. 
I'm talking about me making sure that I get home to my family. That's on me. So you cannot get into this industry being naive to what it is that you getting into. Cause being naive can get you can get you put in a bad situation real quick. You and your family. So my advice to anybody that's even considering being a trucker, know what you're getting into. Know what you're getting into. You know, Sir J didn't deserve that, man. You know, his family seems like a peaceful family. Y'all heard his brother. We don't even want justice. We just want peace. You know, we just want peace. We go and forgive, forget, and, and move on. You know, my prayers goes out to the Kube family. Um, they have a GoFundMe to help Miss Kube. And uh, we're going to post that GoFundMe down in the description box. If you feel generous and you want to help the family, you know, that's that 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 would be good. And we appreciate that very much. It's just a bad situation, M2T. But I mean, we wanted to make it our business to bring awareness to Sir J's case if you was around firewood uh port apartments firewood pond i'm sorry apartments on the evening of the 24th and you think you've seen something or heard something reach out to the king county sheriff's office and let them know you can even remain anonymous you know sergey deserves justice to all my m2t subscribers i appreciate you guys for embracing this story you know it's not a trucker but he is a driver you know and and he do deserve justice just like our trucker brothers so i appreciate you guys i appreciate the guests you know pulling up you know checking in um stay tuned the merch is coming soon hey but i love you guys and i appreciate you guys get in the comments let me know what you think let me know, you know, what could have possibly happened, you know, how you would have handled it. You know, you got any theories of the avenues that the uh, King County Sheriff's can go down? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Much love, M2T. Till the next time. It's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around.